A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to talk about compound rules and how compound rules can actually style your devs. We'll look at uh, both these things. Guys before I actually start and um, make uh, devs and uh, use compound rules I want to give you an analogy and then I want to give you an example. This is uh, this will help you in understanding the concept. Guys I'm an Indian. Uh, most of the Indians in India speak the national language Hindi but most of the Indians in a state called Punjab speak Punjabi, speak Punjabi, and uh, most of the Indians in Tamil Nadu speak Tamil. Okay, the compounds rule uh, rules are very similar to this analogy. For example, let's consider this: all the H1 elements on my web page, although are black, but I have a div called the left div, and I have yet another div called the right div. All the H1 elements in the left div are orange and all the H1 elements in the right div are let's say green. Okay, So when you are presented with such a scenario guys, you are supposed to use compound rules. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll create a new HTML element and we will see how this can be done. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in two divs and call them the left div and the right div. Let's start. So I'm going to say insert layer options div tag and uh, then I'm going to give it an ID from the drop, down, uh, drop down menu guys. Uh, I'm going to select the option, the first option at insertion point. I'll not change that. The ID will say mm, left div and then I click on the new CSS rule next I click on OK and then I'm going to give it uh, a background color first the background color let's say will be a hash FFC a very light yellowish color okay next I'll go to the box category guys and then I'm going to give it a width of let's say a 400 pixels and a height of 200 pixels then I'm going to say OK and OK once again I'm going to go back to the menu, click on insert, go back to layout objects and this time div tag once again. Okay. Now guys notice that it's not at insertion point option anymore. You have uh, some other options here. What I'm going to choose now is I'm going to say after tag and after which tag we just have one option after the left div. I wish to create yet another div guys. So I'm going to go to the ID section and give it an ID as well. So I'm going to say right div. Then I'm going to click on the new CSS rule button. I'm going to say OK and this time the background color will be uh, a hash FCC instead of a hash FFC. Okay, I'm going to give it the same dimensions guys. <coughs> so uh, I'm going to go to the box category. The width will be the same 400 px. The height will be 200 px. I'm going to say OK. And OK once again. Let me take a preview in Chrome. Um, compound rules is an appropriate name for this uh, file. I'm going to save it in my local site folder. This is the preview in uh, Chrome guys. So, but <laughs> the problem is the left div isn't left and the right div isn't right. They are more like the top divs and the right, uh, you know, the bottom divs. So, I have to make certain changes. What I'll do is I'll go to the left div out here, double click on that, go to the box category and I'm going to set the flow to left. And then I'm going to say, okay, hey, the right div vanishes. Let me take a preview in Chrome. Hmm, the right div has vanished. Guys, it has actually not vanished. Uh, the, the, the right div has gone underneath the left div. Guys, whenever you have a floating div, other divs don't honor it. I mean, I mean, it's, it's more or less as if the div isn't there. So the right div feels that the space is vacant and I can go and sit there. Okay, the right div, the fill of the right div, the content doesn't go there, but the fill actually goes and sits there. Uh, let me prove my point. What I'll do is I'll go back to the left div and then I'll go to the positioning category. I'm going to go to the visibility option and then I'm going to set the visibility hidden and say OK. And let's take a preview in Chrome now. Guys, as you can notice, the right div is now showing through. The left floating div is on top of it, which I've rendered invisible. Okay. 
So what should I do? Where does the solution lie? How can I make the left dev left and right dev right? Right now they are more like a pile. So the answer is pretty simple. I need to go to the right dev, double click there, go to the box category then and then set the left margin to be a 400. So it will displace itself 400 pixels from the left and that should solve the problem. Very good. Very nice. Uh, but I have to go back and render the left div visible again. So I'm going to take away this rule. Okay, I need. To, so I've, I've, I've just uh, what I've done is I have uh, disabled the rule. I just need to get this uh, sign out here by clicking. Okay, let's take a preview in Chrome now. All very good. So the left div is actually left, and the right div is actually right. Very good. Let me go back to Dreamweaver. And uh, next one I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to talk about the compound rules now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this bit, this text, and I will go down to the properties below. And then I'm going to make it H2. I'm going to turn it into H2. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this bit, this text, which says content for ID right div goes here. I will go down to the format uh, in the properties inspector and change this to heading 3. Let me take a preview in Chrome. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, let me go back to my uh, software Dreamweaver CS5. Now we are coming on to uh, the compound rules. Guys, right now, if I were to type a H2 or a H3 header anywhere, whether it's inside the left div, right div, or maybe it's uh, outside the left and the right div, in the body, of the web page it will still be black but now uh, we have to be a little tricky now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click anywhere um, in this text which says content for ID left of goes here anywhere I should just need to place the cursor anywhere then I'm gonna click on this plus button which is right at the bottom of the CSS tiles panel okay I'm gonna click there and automatically the selector type which is the contextual selector type for your CSS rule is aut automatically selected as compound okay and the selector name down below it says for the left div for the h2 elements okay so which means uh, the description here says this selector name will apply your rule to all h2 elements that are within any HTML elements with ID left div so basically what's it say what it's saying it is saying is that I will apply the rule to h2 elements and only to those h2 elements which are within the left div only and only which means that if the h2 element is in the right div the rule will not get applied and if the h2 element is in the body of your web page the rule will still not apply only and only if it's inside the left div the h2 element will this compound rule get applied wonderful next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this OK button and then I'm gonna choose a different color hmm? so let me say um, uh, a hash 900 all right I'm gonna say OK and guys notice that uh, it's actually changed its color let me take a preview in Chrome okay I'm gonna prove my point <coughs> what if this text was also in H2 I'm gonna change it from H3 to H2 if you can notice let me go to the live view nothing happens it does not change its color okay let me come off the live view and say control Z which proves my point guys that only the H2 elements within the left div will have the new compound rule applied okay next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click anywhere uh, on the text here on the right hand side in the right div click on the new CSS rule button down below in the CSS control uh, this CSS panel and it clearly says that uh, the the contextual selector is compound the name is uh, a pound right div h3 so the selector the, the rule will apply only to those h3 elements that are within the right div and only to those elements not if they are in the left div or they are outside the uh, left and the right div it will not get applied guys so i'm gonna say okay and uh, then let me choose this uh, a different color this time let's say um, 
a hash uh, zero zero f all right i'm gonna say okay and it turns blue okay let me show you in the the, the live view let me take a preview in chrome save the changes absolutely which means guys that if i were to let's say come off the live view and swap the h2 with h3 okay i'm going to change the h2 to h3 and h3 to h2 guys notice that they go back black again they go back black again which means only if they are in a specific location will they behave in a certain way otherwise not so so guys i i, I hope you uh, found this tutorial useful you have understood the concept of compound rules but before i leave you i just want to show you something else all right uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click anywhere on this uh, text and then I'm going to go back to the new CSS rule button obviously the pound sign the left of h2 auto populates and I'm going to say a comma and then I'm going to type a pound sign I think it's also called the hash then I'm going to say right dev and then space h3 sorry h3 what this means is now this new compound rule will not only apply to the h2 elements of the left div but will also apply to the h3 elements of the right div wonderful uh, i'm gonna say okay now and then what i want to be applied to both the h2 and the h3s of the left and the right divs are the blinking so I'm going to uh, you know choose the text decoration as blink and uh, then I'm going to say okay guys the blinking as far as I know is supported only in uh, Mozilla Firefox and Opera okay so I'll take a preview in uh, Chrome first there should be no blinking obviously there is not I'm going to go down to let's say a Firefox it should blink which it does I'm going to go down to uh, I'll skip uh, IE. I, I know for sure it does not blink there. Let me check Opera. It blinks out there as well, but I think the rate of the blinking is a little slower, guys, compared to uh, a Firefox. So, guys, uh, this is all about compound rules, a little bit about div tags. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time with yet another Dreamviewer tutorial, or it could be Flash with uh, ActionScript 3. Bye bye. Ciao. Take care.